and Ethan, this will be like the second part to it. Um, I believe Kayla Martin is probably done with the Miami Heat. I just don't think we can probably. afford it. Um, so, and I and I seen something that people are seeing he can make about thirteen million dollars per year. Um, around there. Mm -hmm. Um, do we go with the young players that you know get the chance during the regular season? Um, players like Alonda Williams or Jamal Kane, or do, how do we replace that big loss of Caleb Williams? Um, is it the draft? Is it a low tier free agent pickup? Like, which direction do you think that he would kind of go with that? Because losing Caleb is obviously going to be huge. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't think it's a given they lose him, but I do think that he could price out here uh, for sure. I mean, I, I kind of, I had agents telling me what Max was going to make last off season. I kind of scoffed at it, and he ended up getting exactly what they thought. So if you're starting to hear uh, thirteen million dollars, particularly looking at this free agent class, I don't think that's unreasonable. I do think there are some teams that probably would go there. The TV contract is going to blow up again here soon. I do know teams are worried about the second apron, but there are some that are far enough underneath. Like, could you add a Caleb to like San Antonio? Give you know an additional wing to play with Wemby. I know OKC has had interest in Caleb before. There, there are teams out there that I think uh, that he would be a fit for. Um, I know he wants to return, but I don't think he wants to return bad enough to just opt into the contract. So I, I feel like he's going to opt out. But honestly, I don't really know that you have to go search for a replacement. I mean, someone might come in a trade, but first thing, you're going to give Hawkins more minutes next year. Josh Richardson has a player option. So he's probably coming back. So you're adding Josh back to the mix. So that's another wing. And he started to get more comfortable as the season went on before he got hurt. And I think they'll bring DeLon right back. Um, I think DeLon has proven that he's worth it. So if DeLon will come back on the minimum, and then there's the Highsmith question. So if you're going to pay Highsmith, I mean, you're talking about you potentially could have, you know, uh, still Hawkes, Wright, Richardson, Highsmith. I mean, that's enough wings, honestly. Um, you know, assuming, again, a healthy Jimmy return. And you throw all those guys in the mix. So I, I honestly think the bigger question for Miami going into this offseason is, like, what is Duncan's health? Because I that's concerning. He's still under contract, but it's a back injury. That thing can be degenerative, um, you know, facet syndrome. I, I'd be concerned. I think everybody has kind of forgotten how valuable Duncan was the first half of the season. And he just, again, does not look like the same player. So is, is rest going to be enough for him? If not, they got to find a shooter. I I, I wouldn't worry about uh, about replacing Kale. As much as I like Kale, I'm literally eating a Kale Morton pizza from Mister O One right now. I don't know if you guys have tried it. It's a, it's good actually. Um, if you like honey on your pizza and like it's it's a little spicy too. But uh, I I don't I think that they have a plan to replace Caleb if he if he asks for too much.